Hey guys, it's Josh on Tech. After a long while at rest, I guess you'd say. I have been making videos for a long time now. I just got a little too busy and it was kind of hassle for me to do it anymore. <clears throat> Without a quick and easy way to record the apps that I was reviewing and things. So I found this application that I use for quite a while, probably for like the last four or five videos I did until I upgraded my phone. And uh, that that uh, application was Screencast. Now what that did was it just recorded screen of your Android phone and copied it into a file that you could upload to YouTube, edit it, whatever you want to do. <clears throat> well, it was good. It worked really good on Android 2.3. But once I got a new phone, and uh, it um, was on Android uh, 4.0, or my phone, I'm not sure if I got a new one, or if I, th I think I just updated to 4.0, but anyways, it didn't work anymore on any 4.0 phones I have now. I tried, it doesn't work on the Nexus 7 because it's a Tegra device. It doesn't work on my Nexus 4 because I guess it's just Android 2.2. It worked on Android 2.2. 2.1, but now on 2.2, 4.2.2, it doesn't work for some reason. My Bionic, it just never worked, except for Android 2.3. But anyways, all that aside, I found a brand new app that does not record the Android screen directly from the phone, but it projects it to the computer screen with minimal frame rate drops. It's awesome. I love this application, and it's easy. All you gotta do is buy the application. It's $2.99 on the Android App Store, Play Store. Sorry, it's been a while. And um, download the screen, the client for your Mac, PC, or Linux device. And <clears throat> here is the Mac device here, the uh, screen client, BBQ screen client. Um, oh yes, by the way. The app is called BBQ Screen. I've probably neglected to say that, but that's what it's called. And here's the client. You pop it open, and what happens here is you have a few options. You have <clears throat> option to put it into high quality, and you have connect and website down here. This will bring you to their website, which I don't know why you'd want to do that. But anyways, it says device network IP. Well. You go to the phone after you've downloaded the app, paid for it and everything, and you'll be greeted with this screen, just a white background with text on it, and there's a button on top that says off on. You switch that to on, and then on the first line of text, you will see your address, or you're going to want to type that address in here on <clears throat> the client. Press connect and voila, there's your screen on the PC. Now as you can see, I completely forgot to put high qual to press the high quality button. You can see how it's blurry and everything's kind of distorted. I'll show you a better thing there. But as you can see, it's very smooth, especially on the low quality. Now I don't really need high quality for these videos, but I'm still going to do it in high quality because I'd rather have you guys have a better experience. Okay, we are back and we are now in high quality. As you can see, it's much, much more clear. You can read the text a little clearer and it's just as fast. Pretty nice application if I do say so myself. Well, let me show you what's actually in the app. Now this is what comes up. You see your on off switch there at the top. Then you got your uh, address. Then you got scale, quality, and keep screen on. Now scale, you can scale the screen to uh, I guess different sizes. Before it changed the actual size of the on the computer, the client on the computer, it changed the actual size of that. But now it just changes the sharpness of the picture. Like if I were to put this to scale to 100%, it would be 
exactly the same picture on the phone as here. It'd be that good quality. But the frame rate drops so much, and there's so many problems with this new software that it's just not worth it. Now, I haven't tried the USB because I haven't got it to work yet, but I think if it were to work, I could put this at 100% and there would be no frame rate drop. It would be probably like 30 frames a second easy. But I put it at 50, and then you have quality down here. And I put that at 100% because if it's not, it's really, really gritty. It doesn't look good. At least you can, you know, kind of see what you're talking about here, you know. You can read your the stuff on the screen here with that. But anyways, then you got to keep screen on, which, as you can see, keeps the screen on while you're recording or while you're casting it to your computer. Because this application doesn't actually record. You have to get a recording application for your computer to record. But anyways, you got your info down there. You got the version, support, and the debug. Debug, not sure what it does. As you can see, it just froze the thing. Yeah, see, it says no frames received. Now, if I turn that off, it'll probably come back. If not, I'll just have to exit out and go back in. Yeah, it definitely looked like it just froze on me. I'm going to have to exit out and come back in here. Hmm. Yeah, that, that's one problem. When you, when you change something inside, I've noticed this. You have to turn off the phone client. You have to exit or quit if you're on a Mac out of the screen client on the computer and you have to reopen it on both to reestablish a stable connection for some reason see there we go but anyways I'm going to show you a few things here as you can see it's very fast record your screen at frames that your screen is actually moving it. I'm going to show you a few apps now. Now there's some apps, some 3D apps here and there's some 2D apps. Now the 2D apps, I have found that most of them run good. The 3D apps, a lot of them have problems so right now with this screen recording thing. Screencast, whatever you want to call it. It's not really a recorder, I keep saying that but it's not. But cut the rope here. Show you this, this works really good. There is no problem with this. You can record this. You can cast it onto your screen, whatever. No problem here. As you can see, I'll demonstrate that. And as you can see, it's a little choppy. But it's great compared to what you had before, which is nothing. And as you can see, I am not great at this game. Well, we're just going to go back. We're going to exit out of this game. And I'll show you another game. Now, here we go. Game Developer Story. This is a really good game. I played this game for ever, as long as it's been out. Which is freaking three years now, I think. It's been a while since this game came out. <clears throat> But you got a few different options here. I'm just going to continue here. Or hold on, let me get back into that. I think I hit the wrong one here. Ah, oh, that's right. I re loaded. I loaded a new ROM on my phone, so I had to wipe it. So yeah, I have no con continue. Continue. Uh data here. Hold on, let's see here. Yeah, see how it gets messed up there? See how it froze there? Here's a, let's try I'm just gonna confirm here. Now it seems to be working. See I don't understand that. It like kinda drops the frame and doesn't work when a game is stationary. As long as you're playing it looks like it's okay. But as you can see, it works pretty good for the most part. I'm just going to skip through all this here. This game is basically, obviously, you develop games. It's pretty fun. 
can develop new game. Sorry, I'm not uh, reviewing this, so I'm just gonna get out of this game. Anyways, now I will show you a 3D game. I'll show you a very intense 3D, graphically intense 3D game. No, you do not need a root to play this game. This game just has features that you need root to use. Now we're gonna we're gonna start we're gonna start to experience Start game here. Going to one of these slots, and I am using a paladin. Okay. Now this is an extremely graphically intense game for Android. I'll skip through all this quick to show you some gameplay. I'll be reviewing all these apps on my phone in the future. I just wanted to show you this. As you can see, this is very graphically intense. But as you can see, it also froze. See, no frame. Now we're going to try to put it back up. Get this. Seems like when the game sits or like it just doesn't do anything for a little bit it freezes the whole thing as you can see it records it in very quick fast quality but you you, you already saw there were some issues with it now I'm just gonna sit here for a minute and we're gonna see if this happens again so, you know this game it's not happening with it actually See if I hit no. It's been a long time since I played this game, so I actually okay. Whatever. Well, you saw that it it sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Gets a little messed up, but it always fixes itself. That's a nice thing. But anyways, that was a BBQ screen. I hope you enjoyed this app review. There will be many more to come now that I have this to review my apps with. It might be a little messed up at first, but they keep updating this. They've updated it about four times in the past week, so that's a good sign. I hope they keep developing this, and you will see me again in my next app review. Later.